to the IdeaGen Global Leadership Summit 2023. Today, I am ecstatic to have with us in person, live here in Washington, Sherry Hashemi. Welcome, L3 Harris, Director of Engineering. Welcome. Thank you, George. It is so nice to actually get to be here in person. It sure is. Um, what a great time. What a great what time. What a great time. What a, what a beautiful day. What a great time. What a time. beautiful day. Inspiring DC. What, you know. All the things. Sunny. All of that. All of it. Um, Sherry, you know, you've done so much in your career and you're now at L3 changing the world, changing the landscape. You're director of engineering. Can you kindly give our global audience, the millions of people that will watch this interview, a little bit of background on what you're doing at L3. I know there's a lot, Yes. but a little bit of background on what you're doing. Um, so the, the background on what my team is specifically doing, um, I've got teams stateside and over in um, Abu Dhabi and um, working on building our presence over in Europe um, with the ultimate objective of building up strong, resilient communication systems. Uh, the backbone of everything that we do is communication and ensuring that systems, technology, capabilities, equipment uh, that can ensure that is, you know, what we're ultimately after. Wow. Well, it sounds like a very important role. Yes. Uh, certainly. And so you're partnering with communities mm -hmm. to generate a positive impact mm -hmm. and ultimately to strengthen where you operate, where they operate, where everything is happening. How do you do that? Um, we have a phenomenal program um, and there's a lot of emphasis like, um, you know, the, the funding that we put towards um, United Way, uh, local organizations, schools, um, just really digging into um, the areas where communities could use some extra support, some mentorship. Um, we go across the board um, to help raise money and then also to give our time to feed back into the communities, especially with um, with kids. And so we're talking about global leadership. Sherry, how would you describe your leadership style? You know, <laughs> I've, I've been thinking about that. Um, and I think from a, from a textbook standpoint, um, probably transformational leadership, um, which is morphing um, to the nuances um, and I think some of the refinement that's needed as you continue to grow and expand um, as an individual and you start getting into different groups, you've got to um, find a version that's authentic to yourself. Right. I think it's great to have the baseline for um, some of the more textbook constructs of what leadership is, um, but ultimately driving down to what's authentic right. to you is really important. Authentic. I love that you said that. And so what are those qualities that you believe are so critical for effective, authentic leadership? Oh, goodness, qualities, effective, authentic leadership. Um, I think it starts with listening. I think being able to actively listen. I think being able to um, be present. I think showing up for your teams. I think listening. I think partnering um, are, are really key pieces to being an effective leader. Um, and where I sit today with my team, I've got about 200 folks and growing and you've got to, you've got to adjust, you've got to pivot. We've got multiple cultures, we've got multiple time zones, um, various different backgrounds. And so you've got to pick and pull what's ultimately effective for them as well. You know, so authentic starts out what's true to you um, and what you believe in and holding firm to those beliefs. And then I think, um, dialing in what is ultimately the most effective. Um, a new simple example is um, communicating. So if someone just really isn't going to feel comfortable in IMing and typing, um, you know, pick up the phone right. call. Right. Or if someone's really going to value just sitting in front with them yeah. and having a seat and talking just like we are. You know, it's just, I think those are where the refined authenticities come from in recognizing those individual elements right. to be able to optimize those experiences. And, and so I'd love to hear for our global audience's benefit, your journey, what has been your personal journey, your leadership journey oh to where you are today? <laughs> I think um, it ultimately started as a kid growing up with my dad on the farm. 
um, and just tackling challenges and problems. Um, you know, things break on farms and you got to fix them. And I was just always fascinated with how things worked. Um, and I think being able to, you know, I, I, I love interacting with people. I love the, the human element to the problems that we're solving. Um, and I think just being able to pick up experience after experience that has um, strengthened the Incredible. exposure to people and right. then increasing the challenging, uh, the challenge to the problem. Setting the bar continuously, mm -hmm. continuously. Yep, continuous and so, improvement. And continuous improvement. And so company culture, L3, um, leadership, how are you empowering your employees that work with you, your colleagues, to innovate around all of these incredible groundbreaking technologies? Mm -hmm. Groundbreaking technologies being the key. I think the big piece, um, especially being in this leadership position, is creating stability. I think there's so much uncertainty that's going around. Um, for me, the big piece is, is driving stability and some consistency around um, the operating environment so that they sure. feel like they're in a space that allows them to go beyond where they mm -hmm. might not otherwise feel comfortable in stepping and making that next move or, you know, that as they're, you know, going and thinking about a problem, you know, do I have the ability to go do this and, you know, what's going to happen and just saying, well, it's okay, let's go learn. Right. You're in that stable, safe space to go do so. And I think that that's the real key piece is um, and stability. What, what, stability. And, and just to follow up to that, are you and have you taken from your experiences working for others mm -hmm. to implement and sort of improve upon yeah. That leadership. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I've had some really phenomenal examples and, you know, they've always shown up for me. They've always mm -hmm. been very present. Um, the term we use is top cover. Mm -hmm. I know that I have room to maneuver and it might not come out a hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. Um, and that's okay. You know, wow. so that, um, that, that, safe space and it's not failure, it's learning, right. You know, as you're going through and you're developing and you're pushing the limits, you're pushing the envelope. Wow you know, it, you're going to learn something. And sure. as long as we're learning something. And so saying what others have done for me is ultimately my goal. Um, and why I'm so excited about this job that I'm in now wow. is to be able to provide that for so many others as well and really spread, spread the space to go do great things and be encouraged to do so. I wanted to ask also, just as a follow up to all of that, um, and I think we alluded to that a little bit, but who are those giants? Yep. <laughs> Who are those? Who are those giants oh that, that you stand on the shoulders on? We oh. we've all we all stand on the shoulders of giants. Who are those giants for you? Oh my goodness! Um, first and foremost, my dad. Mm -hmm. My dad is absolutely the foundation. Who's always encouraged me. Um, the list is so long. Um, you know, Kim Smith, Candace Smith, Amy Hopkins. Um, there's just, you know, wow. just, just to start on the surface, Dr. Sure. Alam Dari, wow. um, it's just phenomenal to be amongst so many giants who are also as encouraging, um, yeah. and, and display the level of encouragement that I think others need and have enabled me to be comfortable in taking those steps to do more. Sherry, that's so inspiring. What is your call to action for the global audience watching this across the planet? What is that call to action? And separately, but connected, how can they learn more about your work at L3 Harris? Well, um, call to action is show up for each other. We're coming out of a very uh, turbulent time coming through from COVID and figuring out what's our new normal. I think the biggest thing um, for call to action is show up for each other. Um, be present, mm -hmm. um, be there for each other, and help create some level of stability in the space that you're in. Um, and you can go online to learn more about L3 Harris. We've got quite a few very exciting things in the news. We're on LinkedIn, um, Google, all the usual channels. So, wow. Yeah. All right. Sherry Hashemi, Director of Engineering, L3 Harris. Thank you, thank you for all you're doing. You are leadership defined.